What's up, bitches? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. We were reporting from a remote location in an undisclosed area. Undisclosed. We have been infected with the coronavirus. Oh, we have to quarantine that. ourselves. We are out of toilet paper, so we've been using the water hose in our hands. Newspapers. Eesh. I'm right-handed, so you're lucky. If I did that, Eesh. you can be disgusted. Just kidding. No coronavirus. But not feeling the best. How are you feeling, Miss McStud? Like shit. Like shit. Miss McStud got, actually got sent home from work today. Not because of the coronavirus. Just because uh, they're all nervous about shit. And the flu has been going around the house. And yeah. And I was having weird body aches and pains and headaches. Yeah. And, and I fought my supervisor about going home. My stomach's not doing the best, but it's nothing like Mrs. McStud's. And I think the more I drink, the better it feels. And then I come home and I had a temperature of 101. Yes. It's like, oh. So, and then I text my supervisor and said, hey, thank you for sending me home. Mrs. McStud is now quarantined to my bedroom where I will do undergo extensive tests of her Can vaginal you regions. Please just wait until my stomach feels better. Yes. Because I would not feel so good. I might blow chunks all over you. We don't want to blow chunks. I'm just kidding. You need help opening that? I miss Mix does a little weak. There you go, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't know if she'll finish this just as a forewarning, but she wanted to try. So yeah, she... I've been drinking amazing power aid. Cheers to Mrs. McStud for being a trooper, as always. Mm -hmm. Very rarely does she uh, have to just opt out. Yeah. And then I'm like looking over, like, where are you at? Beef. But you're you're here with me in my ass at all times. Malt liquor. So, as the coronavirus continues to consume the United States, the president has declared a national emergency for it. More and more schools have closed. And I didn't go to work today because my back's still fucked up. But before I went to the chiropractor, I went to... I went. I was going to get Miss McStuff some Starbucks and some lunch. So I went to Walmart to get her some lunch, and it looked like Christmas time. Like Black Friday. People just buying all sorts of shit. Like, what the fuck? It was crazy. And we tried it. We always order our groceries online or on the app and we have we go pick them up. Half the shit's out of stock. This pickup thing is so booked that we can't get our groceries till Sunday, which sucks a bag of dicks. We got groceries coming from Kroger and Walmart just to make sure we get everything we need because everything's sold out of shit. We saw pictures of the Meyer down the road, like lines out the ass, um, shelves empty. Like the craze is for real. And the toilet paper thing to this moment right now still confuses me. I mean, it, I don't recall a single moment of any symptom of the coronavirus being you shitting your brains out. Oh, what's that? What? The little white thing? On the top left-hand corner? Right here. That's a bug or something that's trying to fly or, or fucking or something. Oh, that probably flew on while we were smoking. It's this little gnat thingy. Oh, it looked like it was stuck. It was, like, it was half dead. Oof. Kind of like you, Mrs. McStud. Probably. Ugh. Poor Mrs. McStud. I love you. I love you. Did you see where Donald Trump declared a national emergency? But he was standing inches away from the Brazilian whoever. And... They shook hands. And he's infected with the coronavirus yeah, test he's, positive? Yeah, the president says he's going to get tested as well. Likely soon. Yeah, that's that's the chance. Um, all sports, like, the one thing they had on the radio today is like, not everything's canceled. High school sports are going on until the evening. Done. Postponed. No sports. Like, I don't even think they're holding cornhole tournaments. All the concerts are being shut down. There's no, there's nothing. You don't know it? Yes, I do. Pipe down, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Malt liquor. But yes, it's a, uh, it's becoming crazy and out of control. People are struggling to find care for their children while they're at work. Employers aren't really doing shit to assist that I'm aware of. But I, 
I just saw this post on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Uh-oh, Miss McStud's going to pull a Facebook. Because she's a chronic Facebooker. Sir, she's been, she's, been, she's been reading about all the coronavirus facts you can find on Facebook because they're all true. Right, baby? Negative. <laughs> this was Mulliger. some funny shit, though. Everything is closing. I'm about to open up a strip club breakfast diner daycare center. I'm calling it Tits, Grits, and We Babysits. Hey, that's a <laughs> hell of an idea. Tits, Grits, and We Babysits. I don't care about the tits because I got my own tits here. <laughs> I don't know. I actually, I, I can't honestly say I've ever tried grits, so I can't say I dislike them. Do you like, you like oatmeal? I like flavored oatmeal. Yeah. Grits is a little bit more mushy. What's it taste like? Nothing. So does oatmeal if it's not flavored. Yeah. I probably wouldn't care for it then. Could I pepper it? I don't think pepper would taste appropriate. Is it that. sweet or is it bland? It's bland. It'd have to have pepper then. I mean, if it's last resort shit and I gotta eat, grits is getting pepper. Because I don't care what it is, almost everything tastes it better with pepper. It looks like a. You know, oatmeal has like at least the pieces of oatmeal. Yeah, I know what they look like. I just never had them. Oh, yeah, they're very bland. My dad puts butter and sugar. Is it butter um, and sugar? I think I my dad puts butter and sugar in his. But he also butters and sugars his oatmeal and his cocoa beans. Or cocoa wheats. Or yeah. is it cocoa wheats? Uh, I don't know. That chocolate. I made cocoa it. puffs? No. Cocoa it's wheats. a mix that's chocolatey. And no, it's like sure. a oatmeal, but it's just like, it's just chocolate. Oh, I don't know. I never had it. Yes, you, you thought I was stupid for making it for my kids. Cocoa wheats. No, that wasn't cocoa wheats. That was something weird I didn't never seen you do. It was not cocoa wheats at all. Because I bought a box of cocoa wheats. No, it wasn't that. I remember I know exactly what you're talking about. I, it wasn't that. It wasn't chocolate at all, the thing you made. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I was like, they eat this shit? <laughs> yeah, that's right here. No, it wasn't. Uh uh. Wasn't that. You had some other special concoction for them. I'm like, wow, kids actually eat this? Because it looks disgusting. You know what it is, is that? No. Like when you were fucking naked? No. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm cool. I mean, I'm... <clears throat> I like cocoa wheats. And cocoa wheats with uh, toast with just butter? I like toast with butter. Yeah, you just put your cocoa wheats on that and like eat it off the toast. Oh. But anyways. I, I can't say I dislike it until I try it. But you never know. Well, see, one thing I've always hated for the majority of my life is pot pies. And recently, I think I've you acquired, a, acquired a taste for them. A big pot pie. Which says a lot. I mean, I mean my taste has changed over the years. But a pot pie never appealed to me because of the bland-ass pie crust they use. That's why I hate pies most of the time, because they use that bland-ass crust. So you got this pie, I'm like, why the fuck am I going to eat the crust? I'm going to eat the shit off the crust. Well, that's what I do. It's kind of like eating the icing off a cupcake, but I like the cake, so I eat the whole thing. But I saw you licking all the icing off the cupcake earlier. It depends on what kind of icing. I don't like whipped icing. Gotta be buttercream. Um, but usually, so I don't get all my whole face messy, I lick the icing off of it. Before I, and I leave some icing so I can eat the cake and the icing together. You want to watch a milking video together? No. <laughs> you turn that shit on and I'm locking your ass straight up out of the bedroom and going the fuck to bed. We can watch it together. No. <laughs> I'm sitting here, we're... You can't explain it. We're Last watching, night the, we're watching then... the new Little Dicky show, Dave. Uh, the one from Wednesday. And we've seen more of his ass than I've ever expected to see in my life. And the awkward sexual encounters. Well, my kid was sitting the in the first room. night. Well, I was like, I was stunned. I'm like, oh shit. And I was like, I didn't even know what to do. I was like, like, what the fuck? And it's like, like we're sitting there watching porn. Yeah. Cheesy porn. Yeah. Because it's a funny movie. But that shit, I didn't I did not watch it. He watched it. I did not. 
And he gets to little Dickie's ass. Yeah, well, I am not fuck. watching him fucking. <laughs> if I am going to watch people fucking on TV, then I will pick what they look like. <laughs> and it would not be them two. That's why I love Mrs. McStud. I mean, he has a nice body. But I don't want to see his dick. <laughs> and she didn't have big enough boobs. Well, I didn't care about her. I just thought his ass out. It was funny. But her boobs never even showed. No. I don't think. No, but... Uh, We'd say milking because he, uh, they get into the point, like, what's, she asks him what the weirdest thing he's jerked off to is, like, milking porn, like, milking porn. Apparently, it's where there's this table and a hole in it, and this dude, like, lays on top of his dick out underneath, and it's, like, getting milked like a fucking cow tit. That's just, if you're with ugly bitches and you don't have to Which I guess, I did, I've well, never known this was a thing. Milking porn. Like, what the fuck? I'm sure you've seen something like that. No, I've never seen that. I was like, oh, so now we just lay on a table and get milked? What? what? She goes, wait a minute, milk? Like, jerk off? <laughs> I mean, the movie is cheesy. But I just flat out did not watch it because I refuse to watch some porn that I didn't pick to watch. <laughs> no, at the end, he was about to eat her ass and her... She's sitting on the hole on the table, and his roommate or whatever comes home. And they're both butt naked, and they come and up under and the table. Fast. Yeah, pretty funny episode. Pretty crazy. Typical little dicky, crazy, awkward comedy. But it was funny. I think I'm fucking hungry. Hmm. What do you want, baby? I guess I'm just gonna eat soup, aren't I? What? I mean, what the fuck else? Are you gonna put your nut in a bowl? I suppose I could. I put my nut in a bowl. <laughs> you gotta incorporate that in the fucking Facebook status somehow. Are you gonna put your nut in a bowl? I've never heard you say that in my life. You know I get a little bit cranky with my belly aches. Yeah, and then it's even worse when you're hangry. And so I'm now both. You're, now you're hangry and with a belly ache. Fuck. Fuck me. I... Please, and no, I'm not fucking going to sleep. Please, no, no, please send me your thoughts and prayers. I hope I survive for tomorrow's video. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> How's yeah, the Mickey's she's though? saying dumb shit. How's the Mickey's though, by the way? It's okay. Hey, check this out. No, you I'm, little our, bitch. Our Mickey's can dock. I ain't gonna, no, we're I, not. I'm not going to pour anything out. Okay. Like, I mean, like, you know, like, oh, it's like the foreskin going into pain. Yeah, it, you know when you say dumb shit like that, it makes my stomach turn. I didn't think that I would. I got vomited earlier when you were I'm talking sorry. about that other shit. I didn't think that would. We talk about docking all the time. I thought like that didn't make you sick. You just thought it was weird. I didn't know it made you sick. Like you always said, it was weird. You never like. I me. hate you right now. You ever even said it? <laughs> I'm sorry. You never said anything about that is... disgusting you. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I never know that disgusted you. You always well, laugh about it. Well, I didn't it. either. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Oof. I've said two things tonight that I usually say on a daily basis. Like, I mean, I don't know why you want to think about a dick getting stuck in another dick. And why that doesn't like... It's nasty. I don't want... Ugh. Ugh. Well, I mean, you live with me for how long now? And you know my sense I of humor? I am sick to my stomach. Well, that's never made you sick to your stomach. I it think, is sick. I didn't, like, you like, never. I am having cramps. I'm sorry. It sucks. I didn't think that would disgust you. I wouldn't have said it. I was trying to say things that wouldn't disgust you. And I, that was one thing I was like, oh. It's just, I didn't think that would do it. I'm sorry. Well, you thought fucking wrong. I did. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm all liquor. How's your Mickey's though? Is it really good? I said okay. Is it really good though? <sighs> Baby, I stayed up all night brewing that for you. No, it's not really good. I bought the empty bottle and I made the sticker. It's beer. And after I get done drinking this, you're sadly going to make me drink my Powerade before I can even drink more beer. Who? You. Is that my first Powerade? No, you're in your second. Oh. Why would I make you drink that? Because I'm dehydrated. Well, I mean, you finished one. Well, I... You can drink whatever you want. Like, like, honestly, my stomach feels way better after having some. You just highly recommend is what you do. You don't ever tell me what to do. You just highly recommend. No, you're right. I don't ever tell you what to do because I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> Sometimes I have to, like, put my foot in your ass like you do me. But more often than not, I'm, I, I'm not the controlling type ever. 
Like, I hate if you even think I'm trying to tell you what to do. You're like, right, why are you telling me that? I'm like, I was just making a suggestion. I know, you're going to do what you want. Yep. I didn't even want to listen to my supervisor. I know. Oh, I was so happy. Honestly, I like I had, I had ran, like there were stop trains and shit. I got this we said lunch, and breakfast in uh, Starbucks with an extra shot of espresso. I tried to go the back way to get it to her. There's a train stopped, and I had to go around. I finally get it to her. So I'm on my chiropractor. I got to get back home. Train stopped. So I was like, I gotta drive all the way back to where you are. Do you want to smoke? So we smoke, and then I finally get home. I finally take. I she had mentioned leaving early, but I didn't. That's why I got her lunch. But I didn't know if she was going to. But she also said that no one wanted they're sick. So I finally get home. I sit down and take a poop, and and I was kind of sitting there letting it flow, and I get a call. You need to come get me. They're sitting me. <laughs> I'm like, those rag raggedy bitches. I said by 1130, you had them out. Oh, no, I know. I wasn't rushed or anything. I was already done. It was just story time. But I was like, shit. So I was happy to have her at home. And she was okay for a little bit. And then she realized she had a fever. And then, like, then I realized I had a fever. Because we took both our temperatures. I'm like, and then as we're driving, I'm like, oh, fuck. No, I didn't even it. have a little fever. I had 101.3. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So then I feel it, now you, then you felt it. I didn't know your stomach hurt to the extent that it did at that point. I, well, it did. It was bothering me, but it really started aching whenever I was trying to sleep on the couch. It woke mm -hmm. me up. I had to break out the heating pad for Miss McStud. I even went to get her some KO Pectate. That stuff's amazing. My favorite stomach medicine ever. Yeah, I was going to get her a liquid. We got like a French vanilla liquid. All I have was like a peppermint. I have some there. I didn't realize that. That's that bottle. Oh, there is a little bit left. I thought it was gone. I thought I used it all, actually. I didn't know it was there. I thought the last time I, uh, that, that GI thing I had? Yeah. I thought I used it all. No, I drink, ah, I drink all the Pepto. Oh, I don't like Pepto. Yeah, well, I don't even use a fucking measuring cup. I just drink it from the bottle. I know you're such a weirdo. Well, I'm a real man. Real men do real men things. Get the fuck out of here. You're the one teaches my kids that. Next thing I know, my son will be walking in. I'll honestly, walk in there and he'll be drinking out. Honestly, I don't teach the kids that. I do it on my own, like, without anyone seeing. I would never teach well, them like, to do son, it. Well, like, son, what are you doing? Chad said this is what real men do. Well, he's taking down some fucking time. Absolutely right? not. That's a decision they can make when they're 18. I would never in my life tell them that. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> like, they're going to take the recommended dose. <laughs> After they're 18 and adults, then, you know... I can only make recommendations. I know. I can drink from the bottle. I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> the way I know, I'm like, just drink I'm like, what are you doing? You drank the whole bottle. Like, what you said? Do real men do real men things? No. We're not getting into that conversation because that's never going to happen. Beef. Well, real men don't just drink a whole bottle of Pepto. I wonder if my kids are on their way home. Might be. Malt liquor. Mmm. But anyways, this whole uh, whole coronavirus thing, in all reality, uh, it, we're all inevitably going to get it at some point. And yes, it's going to affect, affect the same demographic it affects the flu. It's okay. Like, it's just another... Another virus that's going to suck, and we got to battle, and they're going to make vaccines for it, but for the most part, we're all going to be just fine. And I understand why older folks and people with lower immune systems or respiratory problems don't want to get it, because I, I, you know, I don't want to see that. So that, that's the one major issue I have. Well, the major issue I have is that everything I'm reading on Facebook, mm -hmm. they are people like our age that aren't as at such a high risk mm -hmm. are buying all the toilet paper and stuff that the elders need to take care of themselves so it's now being recommended at least in hancock county mm -hmm. that um the stores open up for like a window in the morning like between seven oh, and nine the, the, so just for elders to be able to go in and they get first choice 
Yeah. At what they get and not be around. That's everybody. a great idea because people are being ridiculously crazy. Yeah. Um. And sometimes these old people don't get out but once a month. Yeah. When they get their checks or whatnot, and they want to, or you know, they need to get out, and they're going out, and they can't find anything they want. Or they need. Or they to need to protect themselves. Yeah. Better yet. Not only that, just like they're they, not having toilet paper. Like they, they're there's not. nothing they have. Like, and the, the toilet paper is the <laughs> stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I seen this Facebook post today too. It's oh, I let you read it. Oh yes. What was it? This is. Where's read it? It's a respiratory, not acetory. Yeah. <laughs> like there's there's another meme going around saying uh. The UN people are going around walking through fields of dead bodies. And they're like, these are the cleanest asses we've ever seen. Oof. Yeah. That's <laughs> never need to buy toilet paper. Why aren't you buying canned foods? Like non perishable items. Like if you're going to self quarantine for two weeks, okay, you don't need fucking four cards of toilet paper. Unless you got 22 kids. And that might last you a week. We got there a lot of fucking toilet paper in this house, but not that much. No. And, like, it's just fucking stupid. Oh, my God. I can't handle the stupidity. Mm. And the stupidity I saw today, like, people were buying four and five big jugs of laundry detergent. How much laundry you got to do for a two-week quarantine? I mean, fuck, we got through one in, what, a month? Yeah, and we don't use a very big one. It has 89 loads. Yeah. I mean, for fuck's sake, how long you plan on staying in? Jesus Christ. They might decide to stay in until the kids go back to school, which is all month. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Really crazy. Really. Nutty as shit. But the art school, honestly, art school should have been closed... A month ago. Really? Just for the flu? Yeah. That's why I told the girl. Just for the flu. Not this coronavirus. Just the flu. Like, it's been a sickness going around in school. It's been passed around. It keeps getting passed around. We are victims of it with our children. I don't understand how parents can bitch, 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 bitch about school being closed. And like I told you earlier, yeah. I just wish it was close two weeks ago. Because mm -hmm. then my son might have been able to prevent getting the flu twice, two different strands. I, I understand it's being hard for parents with school being closed. But at some point, that's needed. Because not only you're you're protecting your own kids yeah. from sickness. And that's any parent's goal is to protect their kids you from being sick. You don't want them to get sick. You do the best you can keep them as healthy as you can to prevent them from getting any illness and you know they're going to get it because they're kids and they're dirty kids are dirty yeah it's a common thing teenagers are worse but when it's going around and it's been going around and the school tells you it's going around nothing coronavirus close one confirmed case in the county schools closed for fucking a month <laughs> fuck man are you kidding me? What about the flu? The flu kills more people on an average basis than the coronavirus ever has. And there's no legitimate statistics to prove anything otherwise. And on top of that, hospitals and clinics do not report cases of the flu. It's all estimated. Yeah. So, the real count of the flu is not accurate. It could be much greater. Uh, these are just confirmed. Like, or I, guess could, it, I doubt it's less because no one reports anything to anyone. Because they don't want to report anything to anyone. They want everything to think everything's good. Yeah. And the health is good. It's aggravating. As a parent. I'm on the ADHD mama. What are you thinking about? I need to get up. Why do you need to get up? Because I'm aching. What are you aching for? Don't tell my heart. My achy, breaky heart. <laughs> this is a song you would play for me. I must not get upside the head with this fucking bottle right oh. now. Because your throat's not where I can punch it. 
And I guarantee you, Miss McStud is not bullshitting when she says these things right now. I'm really not. <laughs> My butt hurts, my legs hurt. Your butt hurts? This chair is hurting my butt. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, I'm proud of you. You actually finished that. You didn't have to do this at all. I, I, I didn't make Miss McStead do this. She wanted to give it a shot. And she yeah. actually drank her whole thing. So cheers mm -hmm. to her. She's a trooper. We're going to call this swine flu malt liquor. Just <laughs> not good way. What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Swine flu. Like, really? Swine flu? The coronavirus is going, oh, we're talking about swine flu. <laughs> we're not at all. There was a couple of Facebook posts about the swine flu earlier. I bet there were. Today. Probably about everything else, too. <laughs> they don't look at it that much. Ah, laxatives. Beef. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm McStud. And this is McStud? My, my sick wife. I hope you feel better, baby. We're going to get you there. Me too. And I will, I will, if one thing I do do is I do make her drink uh, hydrating fluids to an extent. Because if it was the other way around, she would jump my motherfucking ass and make me like, no. That's different. You're not getting, you're not getting a beer until you finish that. That's different. Nope, not different. Because you got a big, bigger belly than I do. Like, I drank this and that for Gatorade, and I'm stuffed. But I haven't even ate today. Oof. Well, you're going to be about to eat. Anyways, we'll catch you bitches maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We may be quarantined for the coronavirus. Deuces.